today we're going to be testing Kosori's Pearl Burr coffee maker. Lately we've been using a percolator to make our coffee. We cook it on our stove, we really like how it turns out and the flavor. But today we're going to try a new method, so let's check it out. So this is what a pour over coffee maker looks like. And you're also going to need a gooseneck water kettle. Now Kosori did send us both of these products to test out and demo, but our opinion is going to be our own. So the first thing that we're going to do is heat up some water in our gooseneck kettle. I added it to the max, this one holds 3 cups. And there's a setting for coffee for 205 degrees Fahrenheit, so I'm just going to do that. So while the water warms up, we're going to measure the coffee onto this filter. We're going to be using the dark roast and on the instructions for this Kosori coffee maker, it says to use one scoop for 4 ounces of water. We tried that the first time and it was very dark, so we're just going to be using one scoop for one cup of water. So since we're doing three cups of water, I'm going to do three of the scoops and this is the scoop that Kosori provided for us. And then you want to make sure that the coffee grounds are leveled. So our water is hot now. What we're going to do first is we're going to pour over starting from the middle going in a circular motion to the outside. And it's called blooming whenever you just let the ground soak for a little bit. So we're just going to pour over enough water that they get soaked and then we're going to let that sit for 30 seconds. And then after the 30 seconds, we're going to pour over the water but it will be from the outside going in. And just do it slowly and uh, it's just going to start dripping. Now this is also great if you don't finish all of your coffee, you can still keep it warm on a gas stovetop, keep it on low, or on a glass flat surface stovetop. Alright, so now let's pour it out and have a taste. So just the color and the smell alone reminds me of a drip coffee that's made in a coffee pot. So I'm guessing it tastes similar to that, but let's check it out. Oh yeah, nice and hot, but not too hot where it's burning your tongue and it has a nice good flavor to it as well. So add some milk or some half and half and this would be amazing. So even though we only added three scoops for three cups of water, it still has that dark roast flavor and that's what the can is. So, so if you use another roast, it's going to taste different, but this is how I like it. So this actually has the same flavor and texture of the coffee that we make in the percolator. And we use the same grounds and I feel like it tastes just like it. So just for a reference, this is what our percolator looks like and this is what we usually make the coffee in. The size looks about the same, however, this only holds a cup and one fourth of coffee. And this right here holds up to eight cups. We only make three cups but it holds up to 8 cups. So now that we've tasted the coffee, we have plenty left that we're going to put in the refrigerator to cool it down to make some iced coffee with boba. Aside from being able to make 8 cups of coffee for a large group or get together, I do like the aesthetics of the coffee maker. It's all glass, it's like a tempered glass and uh, has this wooden handle so that your hand doesn't get hot. It is removable so whenever you clean it you can remove it. And the biggest factor that I liked about this was the filter. Many of the uh, coffee makers, the pour over coffee makers that I saw online uh, was part stainless steel but the frame was still plastic. So essentially you're pouring hot steaming water uh, over plastic. Not sure how safe that would be but this filter stands out because it's completely stainless steel. Uh, the frame is stainless and the mesh and it's double mesh so even though we use pre-grounded coffee and it was pretty fine grounded, uh, this is all that's left from the ground. So really surprised that it filtered basically everything uh, and nothing was really left over. So the filter is really nice and it filtered out all the coffee and stainless steel. So we love that about it. So for the gooseneck kettle, the aesthetics looks like many other goosenecks on the market. Um, but the one thing that I liked about this that stood out from some other ones is that it's completely stainless steel inside so you know that it's safe and it's not going to rust or degrade over time very quickly and I mean it's a gooseneck kettle it's simple it's low profile it's super easy to use you just basically just set it on the base here 
and there's labels already for you uh, green tea oolong tea which we don't really drink sometimes we drink black tea so i guess we could choose green tea for that um, it also has coffee which is what we used earlier not only that but each setting has a temperature on it as well a temperature indicator there's black boil i guess if you want to completely boil the water to its hottest point and then you can also this also has a bluetooth connection to the kasori app we haven't used it or tested it out i just don't see the point of using it really it's pretty basic and simple to use it only takes a few minutes to completely boil so and once it gets to a certain temperature if you want to hold it at that temperature you can press hold temperature so these buttons they're not really buttons they're kind of heat sensitive like a touch screen on your iphone if you just kind of tap or touch the button it'll activate that button now we're going to go ahead and prepare the coffee for our coffee and boba drink so besides the coffee you're going to need some half and half and a sweetener and uh, this is just for your personal preference so you can sweeten it how you want it to be So we already pre-prepared some of our boba. It's already been cooked and put ready. We're just going to go ahead and put it into the cup and prepare the drink. Now that's a good coffee boba drink. At this point you can add ice if you'd like to to make it colder. Um, we decided not to but it's so delicious. The coffee is a really nice flavor and it blends perfectly with the half and half and mixed it with the boba. It's a really good drink. I love coffee and boba. The coffee is still nice and strong. You can taste the coffee flavor and as you can see you can still see that it's a little bit brown from the coffee flavor and it's also really creamy from the half and half. Honestly I didn't think I would like the pour over coffee as much as I did. Um, there were a lot of things that I liked about it, but the most important thing was that the flavor of the coffee was actually really good. It was very similar to our percolator, or almost the same, just the method was different, and uh, it made this boba amazing. Compared to our percolator, it made a lot of coffee, and I really like that. We want to thank Kosori once again for sending out these products for us to test and demo. If you have any interest and want to check out any of these products, we'll have a link down in the description below. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.